for anything for anything at all to happen in the universe. A force must act. For anything at all to happen in the universe. A force must act. We usually think of forces as moving things around, pulling this apple towards the ground or pushing a car up a hill. But forces also cause the sun to shine. They make the ice melt in your drink and they cause a plant to emerge from a seed. Forces are the agents of change in the universe. <coughs> to help us understand forces, Thousands of scientists around the world have spent billions of pounds to build this machine. I'm standing a hundred meters below the ground at CERN in Geneva. And this is the CMS detector, part of the largest and most complicated scientific experiment ever attempted. This experiment will give us deeper insight into the forces of nature than ever before. It's a long way from when Isaac Newton pondered the laws of gravity, but all part of the same story. We understand the world today in terms of four forces of nature, the strong and weak nuclear forces, electromagnetism and gravity. Now, gravity is perhaps the most familiar, but in fact, it's by far the weakest of the four forces. So weak, in fact, that we can completely ignore its effects when we explore the subatomic world, at least with today's experiments. Besides the familiar but weak force of gravity, there are three other forces in this universe, each of which is vital for our existence. Now, it may not seem obvious, but the force that holds these bubbles together is the same force that allows this flame to burn, electromagnetism. It's the force that allows us to push and pull things, the force that allows us to see everything in the world around us, and the force that allows your TV set to work. Electromagnetism is the force that holds electrons in place around the atomic nucleus and holds the atoms and molecules in place in my body. It also causes electrons to repel each other. So even though the whole planet Earth is pulling the apple down to the ground, the apple stays firmly in my hand because the electrons in its surface are repelled by the electrons in my palm. I've used the word electromagnetism to describe a single force. But electricity and magnetism seem at first sight to be very different phenomena. The magnetism that makes this top levitate seems to have nothing in common with these electrical sparks. The Greeks knew that if you rubbed a piece of amber with fur, it would pick up feathers. They also knew that certain rocks attracted iron. But they had no idea that the two were related.